Division of Decimal Numbers Dividing decimals is similar to dividing whole numbers, except for the way the decimal point should be handled. The decimal point must be correctly placed in the quotient. Your knowledge in estimation may work also once you divide decimals, as it helps you do the process quickly. In division of decimals, when remainder becomes zero after a few decimal places in the quotient, it is called terminating decimals. Example, 62 and 75 hundredths divided by 5 equals 12 and 55 hundredths. However, there are times that the remainder never becomes zero and a digit or set of digits keep repeating in the quotient. This is called a repeating or recurring decimal. Example, 8 hundredths divided by 3 tenths equals 2,666 and so on. Dividing decimals. Example, 62 hundredths divided by 4 tenths equals n. When dividing decimals, the first thing to do is to multiply the divisor 4 tenths by 10 to make it a whole number. So 4 tenths times 10 equals 4. Then multiply also the dividend 62 hundredths by 10 just like what you did in divisor. So 62 hundredths times 10 equals 6 and 2 tenths. Or you can just move the decimal point of the divisor 4 tenths one place to the right to make it a whole number. So 4 tenths will become 4. Then you move also the decimal point of the dividend 62 hundredths one place to the right just like what you did in divisor. So 62 hundredths will become 6 and 2 tenths. Next is to divide 6 and 2 tenths by 4. Divide decimals just like whole numbers. Add 0 to the dividend if needed. Continue dividing until the remainder is 0 or if the remainder repeats. Finally, put the decimal point in dividend above the quotient. Dividing 6 and 2 tenths by 4 will give you 1 and 55 hundredths. Take note that we add a 0 in dividend and continue dividing until the remainder is 0. Dividing mixed decimals. Example, 28 and 6 hundredths divided by 1 and 22 hundredths equals n. To get the n, Multiply the divisor 1 and 22 by 100 to make it a whole number. So 1 and 22 hundredths times 100 equals 122. Then multiply also the dividend 28 and 6 hundredths by 100 just like in divisor. So 28 and 6 hundredths times 100 equals 2,806. Or, you can move the decimal point of the divisor 1 and 22 hundredths two places to the right to make it a whole number. So, 1 and 22 hundredths will be equal to 122. Then, you move also the decimal point of the dividend 28 and 6 hundredths two places to the right, just like in divisor. So 28 and 6 hundredths will become 2,806. Finally, divide 2,806 by 122 until the remainder is 0, or if the remainder repeats. And so, 2,806 divided by 122 is 23. Dividing whole number by decimals. Example, 68 divided by 66 hundredths equals n. To get the answer, multiply the divisor 66 hundredths by 100 to make it a whole number. So 66 hundredths times 100 equals 66. 
Then multiply also the dividend 68 by 100, just like in divisor. So 68 times 100 equals 6,800. Or you move the decimal point of the divisor 66 hundredths two places to the right to make it a whole number. So 66 hundredths will become 66. And then move also the decimal point of the dividend 68 two places to the right, just like in divisor. So 68 will become 6,800. After this, divide 6,800 by 66. Add zero to the dividend if needed. Continue dividing until the remainder is zero or if the remainder repeats. Finally, put the decimal point in the dividend above the quotient. Doing all these things, 6,800 divided by 66 equals 103 and 3 hundredths. Take note that we end up dividing the decimals because the remainder repeats. Dividing decimals by whole number. Example, 11 and 18 hundredths divided by 52 equals n. With this, divide directly 11 and 18 hundredths by 52 since the divisor 52 is already a whole number. Add zero to the dividend if needed. Continue dividing until the remainder is zero or the remainder repeats. Finally, put the decimal point in the dividend above the quotient. Doing all these steps, 11 and 18 hundredths divided by 52 is 215 thousandths. When dividing decimals, mixed decimals, and whole number by decimals, multiply the divisor by as many tens as needed until it is a whole number. Multiply also the dividend by the same number of tens. You may also move the decimal point of the divisor to the right until it reaches the last digit to become a whole number. Move also the decimal point of the dividend to the right based on the number of movement done in divisor. If the divisor is a whole number, directly divide the decimal just like the whole numbers. Add zero in the dividend if needed and continue dividing until the remainder is zero or if the remainder repeats. Put the decimal point of the dividend above the quotient.